What the hell is this place anyway? What if that time the word and was just capitalized and underlined? It's like fight your fears and survive, idiot. Okay. I try to keep my box sorted. Like I try to keep the weapons in one area and the key items in another. Inventory management is the, the most vital aspect of a Resident Evil game that most people ignore, unfortunately. All right, I'm going to put these six incendiary grenades in them, although they'd be real good against plant 42. Change my mind. I'm going to put these six explosive rounds in it, and then we'll go from there. I think between this and this ought to be enough to kill that damn thing. And let's just go ahead and get to fine. We're fine, we're fine. Okay. Y'all just give me your energy from the future. And I'll be guaranteed to get through it. If only Richard were here to help me by shooting you a bunch and then sacrificing his life so that I don't get eat. Are y'all still intimidated by this little scene and musical sting? Round and round. Boosh! 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 Is that really all it takes? Humble that fucking thing? What about you on the ceiling? I got one explosive round left. Be shame not to use it. Oh no, you had little spiders inside your ass. That's cheating. That's like martyrdom in Call of Duty. God, when I used to play Modern Warfare 4 on the Xbox 360, uh, me and all my friends used to play it, son. We were quote unquote gamers. If you killed anyone in that game, you had to like leap away from their body because nine times out of ten they had fucking martyrdom. It was a perk that made it when you died, you dropped a live hand grenade. It was just for spite. Sometimes I used it too, I'm just saying. <laughs> Learn from my my hubris and my mistakes. Well look how easy that was, and all we had to do was sacrifice five uh, grenade rounds. A bargain when you think about it, as far as completing your internet playthrough goes. You gotta apply different values to a game when you're recording it for the internet, son. Yes. Yes. I became M. Bison for that brief moment. There used to be a safe room here <laughs> in the original. It's gone now. I blame James Sunderland. There's not one over here, but we can go ahead and use this uh, hexagon crank. Yeah, Jill doesn't have to deal with any of that flamethrower nonsense. For Chris... I guess the excuse is to give him the flamethrower, but have it be for only a certain area. But couldn't they have just, like, balanced the flamethrower better and had it be, like, a normal weapon for him? Like, I don't know. Resident Evil 2 Remake did, just saying. In original Resident Evil 2, the flamethrower is kind of the same as this one. You, you could get it at the end of Leon's campaign, and it's really good for fucking up Billy Birkin, so... That's what I usually use it for. Plant monsters also hate it, son. They're always making clickbait blog posts about it and how it's problematic. Aha, uh -huh, I did a little shimmy sham. I boot scooted out of the way, boys. Boulder dodging Valentine, they call me. Now, couldn't I? Oh, wait, you don't get the eagle. Or this doesn't lead to where the eagle and wolf emblems are used in this version. Oh, there's the backup uh, survival knife that's normally in the Black Tiger room in case you forgot to bring yours and you don't feel like walking back two rooms to the item box. I don't know. Is it the same? It might be the better knife that Chris starts with. When we come back later with 
more inventory spaces will grab it. Once again, for completion's sake. And so when we meet Chris later at the end of the game, we can, we're already showing off that magnum we found in the barrier. We're going to be showing off that big knife to Chris. And both of them are going to be sitting in a helicopter with their arms crossed, trying to act like they're not jealous. Trying to act like they're not seething. Son. Jill's dying to get back to the star's office so she can get access to her Wojak folder, son. Start spamming the dog shit out of her. Probably one of the worst jokes I've ever made on the 10th channel. <laughs> Somehow making that joke lowered the overall value of the entire 10th channel. Okay. We're getting there. So we can go ahead and store this knife. And we're going to start these first A's phrase. Uh, this shouldn't be needed anymore, so the Shadow Realm it is. Boys, the Shadow Realm gets all kinds of cool people to hang out there. And now we can combine the stone ring uh, with this metal object to make a stone and metal object. It makes sense when you break it down to its key elements like that. Oh yeah, I forgot that it automatically loads the grenade launcher when you try to switch it in your inventory like that. There's actually a uh, bug you used to be able to do in other versions of the game, in the GameCube version, that uh, you can get basically infinite acid rounds, I think, for Jill's grenade launcher, and it involves that. So there you go. Teaching you about Resident Evil, boys. So that should be it as far as items we need in our inventory right this second. Right, well, we don't really need this thing either. Just my shotgun, and that's just to keep my nerves. I don't know if you move faster in this game with the knife or unarmed. I think that's a thing. So Probably not going to get a personal best. A PB, as the kids call it. I'm like, PB, where's the J at? Huh? Huh? It's a good dad joke. If you're a dad of a speedrunner, first of all, I apologize. But second of all, <laughs> that's a good joke you can use on your kid. When your dad at the dinner table, you're like, what'd you do today, champ? They're like, uh, not much. I got a PB in Farm Simulator 2004. And he's like, PB? Throw some J on there, you got a good sandwich. Ha <laughs> ha! I still got it, baby. God bless you, speedrun dad. When uh, his son finally makes it to Games Done Quick to do his Farm Simulator 2004 speedrun in front of dozens of people, he's going to donate $100. We got $100 from speedrun dad and the kid. Oh, good God, we need the fucking crank for this one room. Y'all knew, didn't you? Honestly, I could have solved this puzzle when I was back here earlier with a full inventory because I believe it stays solved. Oh, well. Just going to have to deal with more of my banter, I guess. I like to think there's at least one of y'all that watches 10 Fit videos in complete silence because for some reason you're captivated by my gameplay style, but you can't stand <laughs> the way I spew constant nonsense. Tenfei minus Tenfei, they call it. Maybe that's a new series I'll start. I'll upload these videos without any of my dialogue, just the gameplay footage. Call it Tenfei minus Tenfei immediately. 400 million views. They'll be like, yeah, he's playing through the game all right, but why does he like stop every now and then and like turn the character towards the camera as if he's having some sort of dialogue? I don't understand it. It's just like when I read those weird Garfield comics, or that weird comic called Garfield that's about that guy that lives alone in a house and sometimes cries or talks about how he can't get dates. Okay. The, the original survival knife has been banished. We had to sacrifice it to get the hexagon crank out. It's like how Princess White Rose 
uh, has to remain trapped in the dark labyrinth so that Azaleus and the other party members can escape, along with Red Turnip, of course. Once again, I'm not going to patronize you kids by explaining that all of that was a Saga Frontier reference, because I know that all of you are steadfast, true blue Saga maniacs. Hell, I'm not even that. Most of the Saga games <laughs> confuse me so bad I can't play through them. The only reason I was able to play Saga Frontier so much and grow to love it back in the day, because I'd spent like a whole day on game facts just reading all these in-depth facts on how the game works and like i passed some kind of threshold the sagaton window they call it once you've moved past it you can finally understand i will only be vindicated here if this is an item we need to complete the guardhouse if it's just like an herb or even some ammunition it's going to be hard to justify wasting like 10 minutes of y'all's time Coming over here to get this item. That doesn't even include the all the return by deaths caused by the black tiger spider. I like to think he was the result of Capcom was making Resident Evil. And they had a contest where anyone at the company uh, could suggest names for that name of that spider. And Sagat, who obviously is a Capcom employee if he's a street fighter. He just kept yelling tiger. And they're like, fine. You won the damn drawing. It's got black stripes on it. We'll call it the Black Tiger. Is that enough for you, Your Highness? The Muay Thai King. Isn't that his title? I call him that guy. Ryu shit kicked. <laughs> to death. Or not to death, but put a big scar on his chest. He doesn't get happy. I'm like Dan Abiki's dad. Me and Dan Abiki's dad there talking the most shit. Go Habiki. That was his name. And then Sagat came over there and gave him the old nemesis treatment. I believe it was canonically uh, Go Habiki that uh, pulled uh, Sagat's eye out. And that's why he got so mad that he killed him. Weren't expecting uh, some half-assed Street Fighter lore to go with your half-assed Resident Evil lore, did you? So we're on a Capcom roll. Wait till I get the Breath of Fire. Son, Cat versus Ray. The debate still rages on. Okay, we needed this to put in the tiger statue, appropriately enough, back at the mansion. So I've still got... I bet there's like an MO disc or something behind it. I'm telling you. Our sunk cost has never been so fallacied. Alright, this whole region should be cleared. So let's head back to the guardhouse. Maybe Barry done, Barry's done getting his quote-unquote fresh air. Now wait, which key is it that we got? Because I think it said control room key, but we need dormitory keys to get to the control room, do we not? I need to examine that key better when we get back to the item box. I also need to learn how to move myself in 3D space. For some rooms like that, it would be beneficial to use the tank uh, control option, aka the D-pad. Like right here. Look at that perfect curve. Do we need to go all the way back to the mansion? Okay, you can finally truly be sent to the Shadow Realm. You know it's the Shadow Realm because I always go in the wrong direction. For some reason, see, left bumper or L1 moves it down and right bumper like moves it up a page and i feel like that's backwards but my brain always goes oh i need to go up let me hold left i bet it has something to do with the way japanese people read right to left look at that i didn't waste my life reading manga and watching anime son i learned something okay it is a resonance key what do you got to say for yourself okay it goes to the gallery now I'm half tempted to go back to the mansion, slap them two crests. Because let's think about it. If we use those crests on that staircase in the main hallway, we can get down to the Lisa Trevor fight. And on the other side of that is where we use the eagle and wolf medallions to get into the lab. 
So unless an item from the bio lab, which we found an x-ray earlier, is locked away at the guardhouse. You know, I, I'm curious enough, considering it's the first time I've ever played one of these randomizers. Oh god, my phone bleeding and bleeding while I was hypothesizing with y'all. I'm gonna uh, try it. I just want to see what happens. And let's see what's in that yellow uh, tiger eye statue while we're at it. So we'll save our game in case I irreparably fuck up the timeline. And we'll go from there. I'll check my bleeping and blooping on my phone while y'all are seeing me save my game. Uh, it was just a boring email. My boring credit card payment had gone through. Talk about Snoresville. I'm just going to bring these for peace of mind. We're not going to pass enough items that we need that many slots and but we're also not gonna pass enough enemies that i think we need 26 shotgun shells <laughs> but once again for peace of mind you can't beat it these damn crows at least they're not dogs crow dogs crow dogdom those were the species that existed before modern hominem dogs I don't mind doing this because even though it's wasting time, uh, there's we're still pre-hunter. We still live in a pre-hunter Spencer Mansion. We might encounter some crimson heads, so maybe bringing 26 shotgun shells wasn't a bad idea in retrospect. All right, we're going to have to grab the stone and metal object that let us come in here to slot it in those stairs. But Okay, remember that dog is out here now. He's real. He's tangible. Hey, buddy. Looking real tangible today. Oosh. Oosh. You thought you could get me by jumping from off screen. And you stood there and watched the whole time. Wishing you were standing above a fountain that you could eternally pee into. That's what all cherub statues dream of. You know, I haven't looked up the texture mod scene for this game. Seeing if there's any cool Jill or Chris reskins. I wonder if anyone's made a Barry Burton mod for this one yet. It's one of the things I like about the Resident Evil 2 remake is uh, people are still making costumes for it. And some of them you can even show on YouTube. <laughs> some of them aren't just titties and ass, if you can believe it. Okay, let's slap these things in here. Sounds horribly... Yeah, I wonder. Sounds like the kind of place you want to go to on a stormy night. Of course, if you had a assault shotgun, I guess it can help you. It's like your security shotgun. When Jill tries to get on an airplane with this fucking gun and they go to take it away, she's like, uh, it's my comfort shotgun. Thank you. Uh, I'm already tweeting. You might want to get your resume together because you're not going to be employed here by the end of the night. Okay. I mean, even if this just leads to, like, some shotgun shells or magnum bullets, it's still worth it. Any cramps? Oh, no! There was! <laughs> Jesus! I was creeping along! He came throwing a haymaker. The only thing saved me was the invincibility frames. Once again, we still haven't found the herbicide to go into that damn plant room over there. Where there's a shitload of items. Maybe that's what will be behind the yellow eye of the statue. Show me the truth, Tiger Chan. Toru Chan. Alright, it looks like an ammo disc, but what is it? It's part of that cylinder that we needed. Uh-huh. Big brain galaxy plays, boy. I mean, I just had to do it eventually. Tiger with yellow and blue eyes. Son. 
Deviant Art, circa 2004. You'll notice the Naruto headband juxtaposed against the Buster Sword. Um, well, this would be the fastest way. Let's see what our good friend the Crimson Head's up to. Crimson Head Fred, we'll call him. He's about to be Crimson Head dead. Get fucked, idiot. I've got this assault shotgun. Richard Coon's spirit makes me powerful enough to take you down from a distance. I think it was a good idea to implement those in the game. It definitely adds a certain edge. Because the original, you know, the Resident Evil games, once you've played through them several times, they're usually not that difficult as long as you, you know, know how to properly resource manage. So add in something like that. They scared dog shit out of me first time I played this game. I bought a GameCube for this game. That's what pushed me over, son. And the fact that I had my first high school job where I could just buy my own shit. It was amazing. When a video game came out and I wanted it, I was like, I could just go to the store and buy this? Is that right? Does that work? I walked in the store so confused. I'm like, I have these little square uh, rectangles that have got uh, dead uh, patriots and presidents on them. And somebody told me that if I handed you some of them, you would give me a video game. Is that right? Okay, here's the plan. Boys, lads and lasses at home. We're going to put Lisa Trevor on blast, son. I am going to save first, though, because there is an ink ribbon dispersal unit known as a typewriter. Oh, it's at the top of the stairs. <laughs> My plan is to empty this fucking thing into Lisa Trevor. Okay. Let's see just how events played out. The fact that the Enrico cutscene happened and nothing crashed gives me confidence that maybe like the cutscenes in this game aren't tied to certain like map flags or whatever the hell it is that causes RE2 remake to crash so often when you do the sequence breaks with the randomizer. Although Ben Powell's done a pretty good job of patching it so that you only find items in an order that won't crash the game. Usually. Jill. You're alive. I was worried, because I thought you were... Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Boys, they do a good job. Like I said, if you'd never played the game before and had no idea what was going on, especially with the fact that we haven't talked to Wesker <laughs> because we've sequence broke, of making you think he's the traitor, but I believe I will give him back his magnum. Thanks, Jill. <laughs> I just realized I was only doing that to shoot Lisa, but from the cutscene point of view, I just pulled up the Beretta and fucking fired at Barry immediately. Uh, Barry, that gun tends to work better when you pull the trigger. So like, like, thank you. Alright, while she's distracted by Mr. Burton's antics, we need to start pushing these damn things. Alright, where are you at? What you doing, lady? Okay. Keep her stun locked, Barry! Oh god, is he reloading? Okay. One more to go, Barry! Just keep her going! We're in the final phase of the fight. We gotta follow the strats, Barry. Don't lose all your DKP right here at the end. 
Stand outside the flames, Barry. We did it, Barry. We got the high score and we're good friends. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Once again, what do you mean by that? You're just going to sit here and hang out? I guess he's going to look for Lisa Trevor? Have I ever explained the story of Lisa Trevor to y'all? It's real sad. Anything else to say, Mary? Barry's got this place covered. Let's go investigate other areas. As Barry would put it. When attempting to imitate a human. So if that door was openable, I wonder what would be on the other side of it. What have we here, boys? A wolf-shaped depression. That would be the good name for a Tumblr blog. For some sort of wolf man. Oh god. I can't stop. I'm trapped in an examination loop. Another one of them FMVs that don't look the best these days. <laughs> Just like with sorting my inventory, I went completely the wrong way around. Alright, let's see how much of the lab we can interact with. We would need the master key to open this. Or if the self-destruct sequence had been activated. And if this sequence could not be aborted. And if all historians should proceed to the bottom platform. Free items on the floor. For me. Okay, that's something we need in here. The fuse unit, they call it. I can't remember exact. I think this is used over in the like steamy area where you keep seeing chimeras. Where Wesker's over there driving his bitching chimera. That's what he calls his sports car. There ain't no reason to min max the hard that we gotta use these six damn handgun bullets. I think the shotgun will get us where we're going for a little bit. The shotgun will keep us strong. Make my assault shotgun strong. Richard Chan. Richard Coon. This game is really pretty. I mean, it was on the GameCube as well. It was like the most breathtaking video game I'd ever played. I love it when a crit headshot comes together. Since I won't have to deal with any additional crimson head. That is one of the benefits that Chris Redfield gets. Okay, so we're going to need this uh, eventually too. Uh, it's one of the benefits he does get is that his uh, secondary uh, def uh, defense item is not a stun gun. It's these little flashbang grenades. And he puts them in the zombie's mouth. And when you shoot them or when they explode, even though it's a flashbang, I guess because it's... Oh, hey, buddy. You're just hanging around the corner, huh? That's what I like to see. Um, it blows their heads off, and then you don't have to worry about them coming back as crimson heads. Alright, let's get all these green herbs out of our system, so I can have some good items.
here at the lab we might run into some asshole naked zombies so prepare yourselves if your grandma's watching make sure the chaise lounge or the sofa is clear for her to faint onto all right here's where we would use those uh x-rays or the one x-ray we found so far to learn secret passwords. You have to do all that to uh, solve the puzzle of the uh, computer. Oh yeah, this is uh, John writing a letter to his girlfriend Ada, whose spoilers is Ada Wong from Resident Evil 2. Who was dating this guy because she's a fucking spy and he works at Umbrella. That was her uh, a reason for being in, quote unquote reason, for being in Raccoon City in the original Resident Evil 2. But it's a plot thread that's completely dropped in a remaster. Since she's a fake FBI agent. As if being an FBI agent made her any more trustworthy. Sure, I just want to get shit out of here so I ain't got to worry about it. Alright, we're going to need all the ammo. Oh. Mm, I bet ammo discs are locked behind other shit. It would be a shame to let Chris Senpai <laughs> die. So. Yeah. We might end up having to, even if we can complete the lab to beat the game. I mean, is it really beating the game if you don't get the most best good ending? Well, you were so weak, but your damn head didn't pop. I'll be expecting it to be crimson before too long. I'm just seeing which of these doors I can walk into. I see some magnum bullets on the floor. Oh, wow, they're cannon magnum bullets. Hand cannon magnum bullets. Get it? Good jokes. Good jokes, dot JPEG. I can't approach this computer. It's too powerful through its camera angles. Uh... John. My password is Ada. She's my hot Asian girlfriend. But she goes to a different school. She goes to Raccoon University in Toronto. So you wouldn't know her. Alright, the password for this one is Mole? No, it's Mole in the original. I think if we type Mole now, we hear Tofu. No? Okay. I believe the actual password is sale. The hint was, who is this researcher that set up this password's favorite Dragon Ball Z villain? And he picked sale. I mean, he is like a biological researcher, so I could see why sale is his favorite. Oh, come on, man. Sale over Frieza. Frieza's a much bigger asshole. These look like they could be regenerators from RE4. There's one of the MO disc. Oh boy. Mo disc, mo problems, as they say. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, open this damn thing. A green and blue herb was inside. So we can mix you with this to get another inventory space. And we can just eat you. Cool, cool, cool. Every MO disc we find gets us one step closer to saving Mr. Redfield. Hmm, what item am I missing? Or maybe there's a file. Okay, here we go. V act. That wasn't it. Hmm. We've unlocked everything we can with a computer, I do believe. You kids see any items? This is like the Door Explorer Blue's Clues section of the Tenfei video. Do you kids see a non-pre-rendered background object I can interact with? Oh. Uh, okay, it's just some fucking healing item. So. If I remember, every time we look and we're like, why is that room still red? I'll remember there's a healing item in there. Alright, we need to beat feet back to the item box, son. Huh? Free up some inventory space. Don't get too crimson on my account. Let's go ahead and take care of this crap right here. 
even when you don't get that crit headshot, it's so fucking satisfying <laughs> blowing these damn things away like that. You don't really think of them as human anymore, do you? I mean, technically the zombies are just humans that were infected with a virus. And I mean, it turned them, or it made them act in a very dangerous and infectious manner. But when you see a zombie, I don't, uh, it's like on the Uncanny Valley. Like, your brain doesn't really register it as a person. Boys, I've learned so much about the zombie condition all of a sudden in this playthrough. I didn't expect to be so zombie woke by the end of it. Okay. Okay. Drop some shit off. A few healing items. A few magnum bullets. Okay, so... We store this for now. Can we access any of the MO disk readers? I don't remember where they are off the top of my head, so... I'm just gonna free up the inventory space. Fuck it. Make another pass at the new rooms that we open. See what we can do. See what kind of puzzles we can solve. So, Professor Layton's finally showing a little interest in the playthrough. We start talking about solving puzzles. There was an MO disc reader here in the original, I believe. Maybe. Just a cannon ass first aid spray. Oh, hell yeah, when the hunters show up, I'm gonna be fucking ready for them, boys. Oh, Jesus, I don't remember this. 813. Oh, it's four digits. Damn. Era. Times era. So we would need the. All right, this is where we get to see the Cerberus and the Neptune and the Hunter and the Tyrant. Look at all them cool scientists. Well, only one of them is truly cool. Okay, it's from this that we get that passcode. 8362, maybe? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try one more time. No, that wasn't it. Okay. Damn it. Cannon shotgun. This is a very cannon room. Nick Cannon probably hangs out here from time to time. I said I was only going to try that one more time by the light. Because normally what you do is you get another thing that makes some of these numbers disappear. Is it 8462? It was, okay. I felt like there was an 8 and a 2 in there at the very least. I was honestly about to bust out my phone and just look it up. We can watch that tape. We took off of Kenneth's corpse at the very beginning of the game. Seems like he weren't having too good a time. Look at that old ass landline phone tucked over there. That seems out of place considering the level of tech in this lab. All right, well, we still haven't completely cleared this room out. So I've missed another. Okay, here we go. We got a file and nope, still doesn't count. Security camera recordings. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. This is classic Resident Evil, boys. Just walking around a room mashing the X button. Or it could be because we haven't technically solved that puzzle. And that's where we would use the uh, other film realm thing. So I'm going to just go ahead and guess that that's why the room is still red. It's the only thing that will protect 
<laughs> my fragile psyche at the moment. Okay, let's see. When we go down there, we've unlocked... Oh, yeah, that other room. Okay, I think we can use Nemo Disc in that room. Oh, no, Crimson Hit Chin! Why were you here? Why were you down the stairs? He just came running so fucking silently, man. It was goddamn horrifying. Luckily, once you kill them as a Crimson Head, they stay Crimson Dead. Still fine. Okay. So what do we need in the next spot? Oh yeah, we were gonna... Presumably that MO disc could be used down there. That we could technically use in the room we're going to, but we don't have the key to get to where you put the damn thing. And once you fill that with fuel, you have to walk all the way there. And if anything hits you or you start running, you blow up and die. So... It really wouldn't benefit us to uh, feel that fuel thing. Because I don't think it lets you put it back in the item box. The item box is like, uh, hell no. Has that got a uh, lithium battery in it? No, sir. You're going to take that to the special recycling center. This game has a good, eerie soundtrack. Oh no! Asshole naked! The most dangerous zombie type of all. The control room key... is that for the resonance? It's a key for entering... is that the control room where the sharks and shit are? If so, then we would have had to actually come... Like, we're, we're actually not sequence breaking, if that's the case. We're actually where we need to be. All right, there's one of the Nintendo GameCubes. Or, they're not allowed to be that on the Steam version, unfortunately. I don't get a Bible verse in this version. Alright, this room... Oh, this room did turn. Okay, yeah, this is where we would refuel the uh, fuel canister. Now, I don't think there's anything in there that we could take yet. Yeah. Because you would normally pick up the fuel canister um, in the Chimera area. The steamy Chimera area, as it's known. Empty beakers test days. Well, it had some fuck flame rounds in it. Well, I think our time in the lab might be over. It might be time to finally head back to the damn guardhouse. We're, we're on a crazy ride. Jet setting through here, boys. Oh, no! I was lost in introspective thought. Okay. Get back up. I know two of you ain't dead. I didn't quite min-max, but what can you expect when you're caught unawares? Crimson Heads do a good job of surprising you. <laughs> I get a test of that. You're seeing firsthand proof of that. All right, so we head back to the mansion. Grab one of the stone and metal objects out of the stairs. Run all the way back. Put that in the thing. Go through the courtyard. Get back to the... Yeah, before we do all that, we're going to look through our items and make sure I haven't secretly missed anything. Yeah, fuck it. Just keep the first aid spray in your inventory, man. I ain't gonna hurt nothing. Alright, so we're gonna want... I mean, we don't need to carry these keys, technically, because we're gonna use the 
right okay we have the cylinder that goes to that elevator in the courtyard too so i mean technically we could do that as well i'm just gonna head to the guardhouse and go from there at least i want to say yeah because i believe to unlock that door there you need the power room key is what it's called not the control room key I, i'm Fairly certain that control room key is to the room under the guardhouse, the flooded area where the Neptune Sharks are. Neptune Sharks be a good name for a Blitzball team. If you happen to live in Spirit in the future. If the summoners are creating a version of me from the Pyreflies and Memories. <laughs> and you're hearing me in the future of Spira. That joke, I was going to say, only makes sense, or it will only makes sense to you if you've played Final Fantasy X or know its plot. But I just realized, even if you do, it barely makes sense as well. Which is what elevates it to a true Tenfei. Uh, witticism? It's not witty. It's not a witticism. Banter? Banterism? Is Barry here yet? Nope. He must still be investigating. We still ain't done the thing where... He throws us the rope. Or does that happen in this version? No, I don't think that's in this version, is it? Because you fight the yawn in the library. I think Barry ditches you on the courtyard or the cavern elevator in this version. Which means we're going to see things that make us skeptical if Barry is the traitor after we've already dealt with our final decision. Because if you keep Barry's uh, magnum during the Lisa Trevor fight, he gets killed by her. And you get to keep his magnum, and it's very powerful, but it only holds six rounds, and you don't find uh, any additional ammunition for it. So you gotta make them count. Plus, you can't get the best ending, so you can't fight the final tyrant. It's a very shameful way to play through the game, is what I'm trying to get at. I will take the stone of metal object. Thank you for asking. I feel like the last item in the game we're going to find is the pewter arrow that lets us go down there where we normally go at the beginning of the game. Start throwing them death masks on there and fight the Abraham Lincoln Crimson Head. I think every game, or at least game of this type, should have a built-in randomizer. Because it gives you so much replay value. Spend hours wandering around lost backtracking, son. What better value could you get out of a video game? This is how you used to play video games back in the 80s and 90s. You didn't have the precious internet, or if you did, you were a huge nerd. <laughs> so you paid for it in a different way. I wonder... Well, we'll know if Barry fixed that thing. I still don't think that triggers until after Plant 42. Plant 42 dying is like defeating Aghanim in Link to the Past Randomizer, son. It changes the world state. Or I guess when you beat him in the regular game, too. Now that I think about it. It's just, in the regular game, you always have to fight Aghanim. And Randomizer, sometimes you can sneak around that. Depends on if you find some Dark World access elsewhere. And if no items are on the ledge underneath that tree that the two lumberjacks are cutting. That you can only knock down when you're in a post Aghanim Hyrule. It'd probably be a good idea to just speed up these sections where I'm just silently running from one place to the other. Try and save my banner for the good times. And we're not being chased by crows.
And we're back. And we'll save my game. You and you. Potentially those bottles. Okay, what do we need to carry around in here with us? Probably don't need all these shotgun shells. There's not that many zombies in here. Ten ought to hold us. I'm just going to use this so I know I'm at full HP. I think there are plugins you can download for these Resident Evil games. You see speedrunners use them. Once again, aka the pros. That show you like your actual HP value as a number and like the HP values of the enemies you're fighting. Just thought that was an interesting fun fact to bring up. Sanjil once again dishing out <laughs> harsh criticisms of keys. And their usefulness. Alright, let's try not to aggro any bees while we can help it. Hell yeah, the lighter! Alright, so to open this, we just have to use every combination of 5, 3, and 6. There should be nine. Oh, well, we guessed it the first time. I was going to say, oh god, the bees! <laughs> I was going to say, we, uh, you know, there's only nine permutations, I think, when you have three numbers like that. But... Never mind. Well, there's the final death mask. It's the final death mask. Do do do. Without a mouth, son. How does he eat corn on the cob? All right. What are these bottles? Shotgun shells. Shotgun shells. <laughs> Got it. Plenty of shotgun shells. I'm seeing. I've noticed a very shotgun. Okay. There's the. That's the damn lab key that we need back in the damn. They set it up so we had to run back and forth. Or did we have that control room key earlier? I don't know. Okay, there's still a few things we can check. Um, well, no. I was going to say we could check that room straight across from us, but we need a key to open it. Damn. I think we're going to have to run all the way back to the damn lab. Uh, there's another item in this room. The bug spray that we would normally use to kill the bees. We should be able to run over here and uh, grab it from this guy. Okay, it's cannon bug spray. Well, that's good because we could spray those damn bees. So we don't have to worry about them because there is a item at the, the bee nest. The wasp hornet nest. I don't know what they're supposed to be. I assume they're based on those giant Japanese wasps. That if one lands on you, you just... <laughs> your soul leaves your body because they're so horrifying. Alright, make sure... Not to click on this after you pick up the map. Or else you get more bees. And nobody wants more bees. Well, that's not true. Isn't there like an actual problem with too many bees dying? And crops not getting fertilized? If there's not enough horny bees, then our plants can't get fertilized. We're facing a celibate bee epidemic. That's not true. I think the bees are fairly horny <laughs> to begin with, but it's just that something else is killing them off. Once again, if you're watching this in the future and you know why all the bees lost their libidos. The pewter arrow, oh boy. We're going to solve the... Oh yeah, how to examine an item. Thanks. Um, well, I'm going to go deal with all of that back at the mansion before we go back down to the laboratory. Because once again, the mansion is still currently hunter-free, which is the way to be. Say no to, dare to say no to hunters. If you got a kid in your class named Hunter, just say no to him. Because there's never been anyone alive with that name who wasn't a complete she. <laughs> Any hunters watching, I apologize. Not since I badmouthed the Arby's in Deep Rock Galactic has my entire fan base been so shook by one offhanded uh, idiotic comment. 
Maybe I should give Arby's another chance. Add it back to my terrible, unhealthy fast food rotation. I do hear they have the meats. They're like, you want the meats? You gotta come here. You can't get them anywhere else. I'm like, I think a lot of restaurants have meat. Is this the Beastars universe? Are we not supposed to talk about meat and how delicious it is? Okay, so what are we taking with us on this next excursion out into the world? So, all four masks. That Abraham Lincoln Crimson Head. <laughs> I feel like giving him our one grenade. Because we're going to free up four inventory slots. So it's not like we need to conserve inventory. And just to make y'all feel better, I'll take a healing item with me. I know that y'all worry. You're like, Benjamin, honey, you're in yellow caution. Take an herb. Maybe a blue-green herb in case you get poisoned. I'm like, gee whiz. Let me live my life. Getting murdered by the black tiger spider over and over. If I want to go out there and have a crimson head slap me on one ass cheek and a hunter slap me on the other, that's my business. Maybe some of us like to be in orange caution. Maybe it helps us feel alive. And here we are, back at it again, at the Secret Spencer Mausoleum. We can finally <laughs> do the beginning events of the game. Of course, normally the first time you come down here, you don't have any of the death masks. So, the curse book, which we found, if I remember correctly, because it was a few days ago that I recorded that first episode... Uh, on the blue diamond in that statue that you push. Chemical to use on plants. Uh, I believe they call that herbicide where I come from. Okay, good. Well, that means we'll finally get to go over there and uh, get those damn items out of that plant room. And once again, doing it in a pre-hunter world real good. No eyes. I got a statue for that. No everything. I got a statue for that. I wonder why they're in this order. You think they would do like eyes, nose, mouth, and the one on the very end. Like either left or right. Depending on how you read your manga. I hear that the official English translated manga of Neon Genesis Evangelion is considered a collector's item in certain otaku cultures because it was mirrored so it would read left to right and so when uh, Rey is all bandaged up she's bandaged up on the other half of her body son that's a whole new fan fiction world you can start right Get smoked, idiot. Abraham Lincoln looking ass. I'm about to go uh, John Wilkes Booth on your ass. I don't know if you can blow his head off or not, but I tried. What were you guarding that was so damn important? Abraham Coon? Okay, handgun magazine. Another one of them crests we need. Neat. It'd be nice to go ahead and knock that shit out, too. I'm going to guess that the third crest is going to be in the plant room, where we're about to go use this herbicide. 
That's my randomizer prediction. If I was Johnny Carson holding up the envelope to my forehead. You kids get that reference. I barely get that reference. So if you kids don't get it, I don't blame you.